Delivering something new, better, faster than our competition can mean incredible payoff. And we are constantly being asked to deliver more, faster, cheaper. So one day you might wake up to almost 200 people dead in a plane crash. And critical failures like this demonstrate the need for critical thinking, meaning good testing is at the core, at the heart of delivering ethical software. So where do our responsibilities as testers end? How do we act ethically without becoming bottlenecks? Well, fail fast to learn fast is a key concept of, const of continuous delivery. And at the core of that, I believe we have things like psychological safety, risk awareness, and knowing our data. It can be a wonderful way of working where the team trusts that they can find issues before they cause any actual harm. They know that they can make mistakes without being blamed if something goes wrong. Instead of finding a scapegoat, the team will focus on solving the problem, figuring out what went wrong and making sure it doesn't happen again. Knowing your risk, knowing your data, means that you are able to mitigate them. It means you are able to solve the problems fast and recover from failures with low cost and low impact to your customers. Because big catastrophes usually don't happen because of one large bad decision. It happens because a lot of us make small bad decisions and we cut corners that shouldn't be cut. It means small misunderstandings might add up and be blown completely out of proportion to anything we could imagine at the time. So we need to consider the harm our software could potentially do and stand up for what we believe in. Because testers don't own quality can never be used as an excuse to not act responsibly. One of the reasons we want to shift left is because we want to find problems early. And we want to find them early because it saves money, it saves a lot of rework, and it means we deliver better products with less effort. This, however, requires us to think critically about things like, do we need this feature? Can we implement this in an easier way? But also, is there a way this can be used to cause harm. And of course, we should be doing agile. We should be agile. We should deliver small regular deliveries because that means lower risk, cutting waste and even workload and delivering more value. However, they often require organizational changes such as allowing teams to be truly autonomous um, owning their own deliveries and switching from a push work method to a pull work method. It means we need to get let go of old ways of planning and managing software development. So instead, a lot of times agile is used as a way of cutting cost, keeping the pressure constant high and forcing low quality products into production. So to sum this up, as professionals and ambassadors of quality, it can be really hard to balance the need for speed with the drawbacks of not having enough time. And some testers worry that the um, decrease of space for testing means that the need for testers is decreasing. But I believe that the increasing dependency and the increasing complexity of software and the merging areas of quality, such as observability, accessibility, security, data protection, it means that we drive demand for skilled testers instead. The challenge for us is to evolve and add those new skills to our toolboxes. To me, it's clear that the field of testing is growing and we just need to grow with it. My name is Lena Wiebe and I want to thank you for listening.